everyone, it's Brianna Ray from BriIY here to bring you another video. Today, it is ridiculously rainy. You might hear it, you might not, I'm not really sure. Um, but I wanted to stay in and do something cozy and relaxing to kind of go along with the nice patter of the rain. Um, it is a severe thunderstorm warning, so I'm sure it's not gonna feel as calming as it is right now for the entirety of the day. But either way, uh, a couple weeks ago, I did, oh God, it's so heavy. I got some painting rocks. Um, I always loved the little inspiring messages that people would write on these and kind of leave them around. Um, I just thought it was cute. Um, and of course, because I'm me, I can't go for cute and leave like positive, like really inspiring messages. It, instead, I'm going to be painting some vine references and then leaving them around town for people to find. I don't know if I can open this with my, oh, yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, so it just comes with a bunch of rocks. Oblong, smooth, easy to paint. I love it. Um, so I have three designs that I'm gonna go for today. I'm just gonna collect my rocks at random, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna paint together. And we're gonna have a good time. Oops. Yeah. Oh yeah. Look how smooth she is. So nice. I'm sure at some point I will um, paint all of them and then distribute them throughout the town. But for now, this is what I'm working with. Um, I already know which one this oblong one's gonna go for because I kind of like made. <laughs> Like, I pre-planned my designs, actually, believe it or not. So yeah, this one looks like one of the designs I made in, like, my my, my plan here. I'll, these don't look as close, but this one kind of looks like the actual design I'm going for. So I think I'm going to roll with this one. And this one will just be for my third design. So I'm going to start here with my simplest one. I also have all of my paints already done, and pretty much everything is going to fall within this color palette. Um, I went a little less pink than usual today. I know you guys have to be so proud of me. And I also have <coughs> my new uh, set of brushes over here, or brush organizer over here, so that I can easily pick and find the styles that I need. So without further ado, we're going to get started by doing the It's an Avocado Thanks. Rock. Doesn't this look like wonderfully avocado shaped? Um, of course, I'm only gonna need these three really. Um, and I have a, like white so I can do some text on all of them. That way the references are a little more clear, I suppose. Um, but I feel like I kind of want to start with the lightest color um, and I'm doing this like flat brush here. So we're just gonna go in and we're gonna start creating this kind of like avocado shape all the way around. Looks like she's gonna need a couple of coats, huh? little see-through for sure. I'm not going too like perfectly shaped here because it's a rock after all, but um, I do want to make sure I leave enough room for the outline part, I suppose, and kind of creating this like egg shape. And then I'll layer the pit on top. It's not dry, but I'm not patient, so now we're going to use this to kind of keep a nice even distance all the way around. See why I went for this uh, flat angle brush now? All right, she is all dried off. Um, looks pretty good to me, no complaints. It's an avocado, clearly. Um, and I thought for fun I would take one of these um, like outlining markers. Um, it's like a paint pen. So it's got metallic on the inside and it like gets that like fun colored outline when you draw with it. So I think I'm going to try to use this and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but I wanted to give it a shot. And I'm gonna write an avocado on the front and then da 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 thanks towards the bottom, so. Honestly, it's still a little hard to see, so I'm going to take a teeny tiny pointy brush from my collection. The only one that doesn't have any loose pieces anywhere like that. And I'm just gonna go and kind of fill in the middle. Almost like uh, I can trace it now. Oh, the jelly 
roll pen. I feel like that would be easier. Alright, this is working a little bit smoother. And it doesn't awkwardly pick up the pen underneath. So I'm just kind of very lightly going over the top with this jelly roll for a little bit of an easier time reading. There we go, there's rock number one, kind of fun. All right, let's move on to the next one, which I'm gonna make this guy, this thick boy here. Um, and for this one, we are going to be using more of the white, black, pink, and a, just a touch of the green. And we are going to start by making a grave. So this is a fairly simple design. Actually, now that I'm looking at this box, it's pretty close to the one I put in the original drawing too. So I, obviously this is stone, and since I'm making a grave, it kind of makes sense for me to kind of just keep the stone look, but I'm going to add this almost as um, like a shadow on the side. And then I'm going to take the little guy and kind of wrap it up on the other side so it kind of creates this three-dimensional effect. And I'll clean it up a little bit, of course. But I do kind of want to leave the stone texture in the middle. And I had just like a little bit of like grass texture on the other side. So I'm just going to do like this to kind of ground it a bit. And a little bit on this side. We'll color that in just the littlest bit green later. If you haven't already guessed, this is the grave of Miss Keisha. As if I haven't done enough with lettering today. I've seen Keisha spelled a couple of different ways. Um, with an I, without an I, double E, whatever. I'm gonna go the least amount of letters possible um, just to fit on this rock since it's kind of teeny tiny. All right, and there is number two, Miss Keisha, RIP. Oh my God, she's dead. All right, <laughs> um, setting that one off to the side and moving on to the last one now. I wasn't sure about this one, but uh, the more I thought about it, the more sure I got. Um, I'm gonna block out the haters. Um, this, is, this is my example of one that is of both a Vine reference and uh, inspirational quote. So <laughs> I'm gonna grab again a flat one uh, and I'm just gonna start blocking out the very basic shapes of that kid with <laughs> that kid with the uh, the spoons on his eyes. So um, I'm gonna hyperlapse through that. <laughs> Right. Well, it doesn't look the way I wanted it to, to be completely frank, you know, um, and that probably came from me not really using a reference and just kind of awkwardly trying to go from memory here and like that blocked out image I did. But I think the, the point still stands and it kind of looks derpier and I'm almost actually kind of into it. So I'm going to roll with it. Um, we're going to dip some black here and we're going to say block out the haters. I hate lettering so much.
You know, I messed it up, I really did, but I kind of like it better than the Miss Keisha one, which my gut says should be my favorite because it has the flowers on it, but this one's kind of funny and kind of cute. I cannot wait to leave these somewhere. Uh, you probably can't hear it. Well, because it's it's not there's nothing to hear. Um, the rain has totally stopped already. I think I've only been filming this for like 45 minutes maybe. Um, and yeah, the rain is like completely stopped. So um, that means I probably have a good opportunity to head out and maybe drop these around town. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm super excited. Uh, I hope you guys like what you saw. If you did, uh, feel free to like and subscribe because I do put out new videos every Sunday at noon Eastern Standard Time. And I'd love for you to be here for the next one. Thanks again so, so much, and I hope to see you then. Bye.